Welcome to Messy World. All right, family, I'm pretty sure that you have seen this incident of this viral video of this couple who were held at gunpoint by the police and it shows shocking footage of the police phoenix police officers violently arresting a black family whose four-year-old daughter allegedly stole a doll from a dollar store so i'm going to show you a clip of this incident from a different angle and you will see the angle from the mother's side where she is in the truck and she is with her one-year-old daughter she's with her four-year-old daughter and you will see the police holding her at gunpoint so let's go ahead and take a look at the video Wait. I'll tell you to do something. You fucking do it. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm just. Where's the girl at? You're not complying with me. Oh, I'll tell you to do something. You fucking do it. I am. I'm complying with you. Okay, right now. Shut your mouth. Oh, look at these kids. Y'all get it. Can I get the babies? Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I get the kids? Duffy, go get her kids. Go get her kids. Duffy, go get her kids. Hurry up. He needs to slow down, and those kids is right there. Duffy, go get her kids. Hurry up. Duffy, go get her kids. And the lady is pregnant. Duffy, go get the, go get a kid. She bringing it. Get the kid, get the baby. Okay, so that is the incident that has gone viral and has angered a lot of people. So what happened was the incident took place on May 27th, where the mother, whose name is Aisha Harper, and her fiance, whose name is Dravon Ahmed, were at a dollar store, and unbeknownst to them, their four-year-old daughter took a doll out of the dollar store. Now, at that point, it was reported to the police that their daughter has stole a doll, and so you see the police coming at this couple in their truck with their guns drawn surrounding the car and his uh, pregnant fiance as you know she was pregnant and their two young children okay so the officers were screaming and cursing at the couple in front of their children telling them to put their effing hands up and you can see that Ames was cooperating and he was saying my hands are up my hands are up now one officer who has now been identified as officer meyer can be heard saying you're gonna get you're gonna f and get shot now another officer can be seen pointing a gun at the car and the children inside and that is where you see from the angle of the mother that officer is pointing his gun at the mother and the four-year-old and the one-year-old child now since this event has taken place and it has gone viral the couple have filed a 10 million dollar lawsuit against the city of phoenix and they have filed a civil rights claim saying that the officers injured their one-year-old daughter by pulling one of her arms all right because as you 
could see Harper would not allow the officer to just take her baby out of her arms. And you can see that the officer nearly ripped the baby out of her arms and almost did not even allow her to hand her baby over to the stranger that she had to hand her baby over to before he put the handcuffs on her. Okay, so in their fouling, they also state that Ames was thrown against a vehicle and kicked so hard that he collapsed, which can be seen uh, in the video and in the footage. And they're also saying that the police officer punched the father very hard in the back for no reason, which all can be seen in the footage. So the police officer did say, I could have shot you in front of your effing kids. And that's what the officer said to Aisha and they are putting, the, they are also reporting that in their claim against the city. Okay, so the family is being represented by Thomas Horn, who has said that their children have sustained nightmares from this incident and they have, uh, they've been wetting the bed out of distress. They're also saying that um, the, the daughter sustained an injury to her arm, okay? And so, so uh, now Jay-Z has decided to offer financial support to the young couple who were victimized. What he has done is the Rock Nation team has reached out to the family to offer legal support. They have requested termination of the police officers involved in the incident and they are trying to ensure the well-being of the children. So one of Jay-Z's spokespersons, Didier Morace who is a spokesperson for the Rock Nation, did tell um, Arizona Central that his team is offering high profile attorney Alex Spiro pro bono to join the family's legal team and that the attorney will file papers in the court against one of the officers for child neglect. Okay, so in a statement, Rock Nation Managing Director of Philanthropy, Dania Diaz called the incident absolutely sickening. She said, there is no place for that behavior in our world, let alone our justice system. And we are calling for the immediate termination of the police officers in question. She also said, we are committed to supporting the family to ensure that justice is served. So yeah, Jay-Z and Rock Nation are stepping in to support the family and to help their legal team. So since this incident has taken place, the mayor of Phoenix, Arizona has issued an apology, which is better than what the chief of police has offered because if you have not seen it yet the chief of police did post a video on Facebook on Friday and I'll go ahead and let you see the video. Good afternoon. Many of you have seen the videos from May 27th where our Phoenix police officer made contact with a family. I, like you, am disturbed by the language and the actions of our officer. I assure you that this incident is not representative of the majority of Phoenix police officers who serve this city. I do want you to know that I expect our employees to maintain their professionalism and proper training at all times. As soon as I was aware of the video, I began an immediate internal investigation. Now, I wish investigations could be handled instantly but each one takes time and deserves the due diligence before we can discuss specific details. For those of you who have made public comments and have contacted me personally about the video, I get it. Your concerns are also my concerns. With that said, I stand by my commitment of transparency and accountability as we continue to complete this internal investigation. I also stand behind and with the thousands of men and women who faithfully serve and protect our community day in and day out. Thank you for listening. So that message was from the Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams. And a lot of people in the comment sections were not happy with their response because the officers involved in the incident had yet to be fired. They have just been assigned desk duty and the police chief did not release the names of the officers. And so many were upset about that. Now, Mayor Kate Gallagher, who is the mayor of Phoenix, has released a statement. She did post her statement on her Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. And so this is what her statement says. She has said, I, like many others, am sick over what, have, what I have seen in the video depicting Phoenix police interacting with their family and young children. 
it was completely inappropriate and clearly unprofessional. There is no situation in which this behavior is ever close to acceptable. As a mother myself, seeing this, seeing these children placed in such a terrifying situation is beyond upsetting. I'm deeply sorry for what this family went through and I apologize to our community. This is not who we are and I refuse to allow this type of behavior to go unchallenged. I have spoken directly with our police chief, city manager, and our public safety subcommittee chairman. First, we are speeding up the impl implementation of body-worn cameras across our police force. Every single precinct will have body-worn cameras by August. Second, this Tuesday, June 18th, I have called for a community meeting about this incident. I have asked our police chief to be present to listen directly to the concerns of our community members. We owe it to our residents to give them an open forum to discuss their concerns with us and to propose solutions. This conversation will be held at Pilgrim Rest Baptist Church at 6 p.m. I recognize that to get to the bottom of this issue and implement meaningful change, we are going to have some uncomfortable and painful conversations. These conversations must continue until every one of our residents feels safe in our community so the mayor is going above and beyond what is being done by the police chief and a lot of people are upset because police chief jerry williams is a black woman and they feel that they the police department is just putting her up there as a token black person to the community and they are just basically scripting her response. The Phoenix Police Department has had 44 incidents of shooting with the police and that is the highest in the country. So it's about time that the mayor is stepping up to do something about it. Well also the police department has released the report detailing the incident and they have identified the officer who told 22 year old Javon M that I'm going to put an effing cap in your head and that is the police officer Christopher Meyer. But his narrative leaves out significant details of the events captured on video even though it does confirm the incident in officer Myers write-up of the incident he said that Drayvon began to yell at me that he did not do anything wrong and began to reach toward the center of the vehicle between the front seat I drew my hand to contact ready and continue to give him loud commands. Drayvon began to comply and put his hands up above the steering wheel, above the steering wheel. That's what Officer Meyer wrote. He did leave out that Drayvon had repeatedly said his hands were up and that Meyer had told him, I'm gonna put an effing cap in your effing head and you're gonna effing get shot. So Officer Meyer also wrote, I could see at least two other people in the back seat. I gave commands to Aisha to raise her hands in the air. She refused to get her hands up and stated, I have my child in here. I'm not putting my hands up. She continued to refuse to put her hands in the air and continued to keep them down by the seat. I feared that she was hiding something or reaching for a weapon. That is what Officer Meyer wrote. So no weapons were found, of course and as you've seen in the video harper was stating that she could not put her hands up because she was holding her one-year-old baby who cannot walk by the way and who she was not about to put on the hot ground now officer meyer did write that drayvon got out of the vehicle but meyer also failed to document the fact that he forced Drayvon to the ground against the hot pavement to handcuff him and then slammed him against the patrol car and kicked him in the legs after he was already handcuffed. Now officer Meyer wrote that he told Harper to set the child down and he said she became loud verbally abusive and refused our command. He left out that he grabbed Harper and her baby by their arms and tried to pry the child from Harper's arm. Then he goes on to write I located a box with a doll in it in the back seat of the vehicle that matched the description of what officer Welch had described to me so you know Aisha Harper does say that she did see the police following them and she was scared now officer Meyer goes on to say that Aisha says that she stated she was very sorry for her behavior and that it was inappropriate now officer Myers is saying that Ames also said that he was sorry and that he was very scared so since this incident the police have released the video surveillance which did show the four-year-old girl, girl walking out of the store with the baby doll passing all open and operating points of sale without anyone attempting to pay for them but you can take a look at the uh, surveillance and judge for yourself what's going on in the video Thank you.
So those are all the facts and details of this situation. Like I said, the family has filed a $10 million suit against the police and I hope that they do get what they get the justice that they deserve because the police have traumatized these young girls. Um, Aisha Harper her, herself has said she's taught her daughter to respect and to trust the police. But at this point, her children have no trust in the police. And this is something that was their first impression of the police and so now they're having nightmares and wetting the bed because of this incident so you know let us know what you think about this situation you know this these type of things happen and if it had not been for the bystanders who pulled out their phones to record these officers you know they would have gotten away with what they have done to this young family so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe for more messy entertainment